Hey guys, what's good? We're back today reviewing Futurama Season 11, Episode 2, which is titled Children of the Lesser Bog. I'll be breaking this down in a few sections, uh, and there will be some spoilers. First up, we're going to do the summary. This episode is actually a follow-up to Season 5, Episode 5, uh, which is titled Kif Gets Knocked Up a Notch. The crew returns back to Kif's homeworld uh, to welcome him and Amy's, it's actually Leela's, kids onto land. Uh, Kiff and Amy settle into the tiring task of being parents. Kiff is soon called back to work and must leave Amy to fend as being a single parent. Amy quickly needs a break and hands the kids off to Leela, who uh, is mistaken as Mommy Leela. Leela seems to be doing a great job uh, in being a sub-in mom, which both Amy and the Grand uh, Midwife notice. The Grand Midwife is a character from earlier in that other episode. When Leela and the kids return, Amy confronts her, stating that she is not their mother, even though she kind of is. During this whole thing, Kif and Zap are on like a space station or something with a former character who is a marine biologist. Uh, and Amy sends Kif a sobbing message, which gets disconnected after the grand midwife lets her know that there has been a challenge for her motherhood. This leads to one of my favorite lines of the episode. All right, bears, daddy's coming to tuck you in. To your graves. Amy and Leela then uh, make up before the challenge. Uh, and the first question of the challenge is, quote, Amy Wong, do you or do you not love these children? She quickly responds with, More than I knew I could love anything. And the Grand Wind Wife states that that is all that truly matters. And the challenge is over. All right, let's go over a few things that I liked. Uh, the jokes in the story in this episode were way better than episode one. Still not to the level of the original run uh, of the series, but vastly improved from episode one. Uh, I like the stories getting more filled out and uh, the dynamics of being a mother and almost like a stepmother between Amy and Leela is pretty interesting. Uh, but that leads me to a couple of things that I don't like. Uh, while this episode is heartwarming, it still doesn't touch the greatness that is Jurassic Bark, Luck of the Fryish, uh, the Sting, and there's like a ton more later on in the series. I like the upward trend we're on with this episode. Um, and with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and rate this a seven and a half. I think it was much better than episode one. Uh, and, and it's really starting to set a good precedent for going forward. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this, then make sure you subscribe for more. I also stream over on Twitch on Tuesdays and Thursdays. The link will be in the description and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.